Good evening, everybody. $100,000 worth of stolen off-road vehicles have been recovered thanks to a Facebook tip and a business owner who would not stop looking for his stuff. We broke this story last night about the search. Reporter Jeff Hirsch joins us now live from Hartwell with what happened next, and it's a story you'll see only here on Local 12 News. Jeff. Well, good evening. I have driven past the building behind me literally thousands of times over the years, and it sure looked vacant to me. I mean, the sign up there, you know, it's gone. Didn't think there was anything in here, but apparently there was. And now the stolen vehicles that were stashed in here are back where they belong. A dozen off-road vehicles, bikes, quads, and two compartments side-by-sides, are back home at Northern Kentucky Motorsports in Alexandria after being recovered from what looked like a vacant building in Hartwell about 30 miles away. The vehicles, in for repairs and storage at Northern Kentucky Motorsports, were stolen around 1.30 a.m. Tuesday when thieves broke the lock on a gate. Motorsports owner Bruce Ligori posted on Facebook, Hey, if you see my stuff, and someone did. The tip led Ligori yesterday afternoon to this structure on Galbraith Road. I seen one of my side-by-sides being loaded on a trailer, and inside the garage was more of my stuff. Ligori took pictures as the trailer was driven away by one of the guys from the building. Ligori's business partner was there too and took off after the getaway car and the trailer which had the stolen ATV on board. He followed them till they got stuck in a field and then they backed the, out into the field with the side by side and took off through the woods. And he in chased, that? Yeah, and he chased them on foot as far as he could. And they got away? Yeah. But Ligori says the rest of his ATVs were still in the building. Did you ever reach a point where you kind of go, this stuff is 20 feet from me and I'll never get it back? No, because we refused to leave until somebody got us a warrant. Ligori was at the scene for 12 hours. Cops finally got in at 3.30 this morning with the warrant. And in the early morning darkness, the ATVs were removed and returned to their old Kentucky home, northern Kentucky. Well, we were just relieved that our customers would get their stuff back and we wouldn't be out $100,000 trying to make sure our customers were happy. Now, you remember I said there were 12 ATVs that were returned to the uh, motorsports place in northern Kentucky, but actually there were 13 of them that were stolen. The 13th one was the getaway ATV, which was driven away on the trailer, and the guy then jumped on the uh, ATV and drove it into the woods, as you just heard the gentleman say. Well, that vehicle was found this morning not too far away, and it's going back to its rightful home, too. Live in Hartwell, Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News, back to you. What a crazy story with a great ending. Jeff, thank you. Yep. No names yet on any potential suspects, but the police are also trying to figure out if at least one other similar theft case in our area is connected to this.